Determine the sum of the terms in row 25 in Pascal's triangle. So let's start off with the Pascal's triangle. We start with one, and then put one on each end, and then add the numbers. So one plus one is two, put one in each end, and then add one plus two is three, two plus one is three, put one in each end, and then add one plus three is four, three plus three is six, and three plus one is four. And then we just continue that pattern. Now notice that these numbers, so each row represents a coefficient of one plus x raised to the nth power. So if we're trying to find the sum of each row, all we have to do is set x equal to one. So to convince you of that, let's look at one plus x cubed. One plus x cubed is uh, x cubed plus three x squared plus three x plus one. Notice the coefficients here. So here is a one, three, three, and one. Where do we see that? Well, that's this right here. So we borrow the coefficients of this row to put it um, over here. Now we want to add one plus three plus three plus one. So what do you have to do? Well, you have to set x equal to one. If x is one, you have one times one cubed plus three times one squared plus three times one plus one, which just narrows down to just saying one plus three plus three plus one. Okay, and in this case, it's gonna be eight. Okay. Now, the next thing we have to know is, what is the row number? Well, starting off here, this is row zero, this is row one, two, etc. One way to help you determine what row number you are is by looking at the second number. Here, the second number is two. Over here, the second number is four. Here, the second number is one. And the first row, there is no second number, so we'll say that's zero. Okay. Now, back to the question here, we wanna determine the sum of the terms in row 25. So, just based off this pattern, we know that the first and last number is going to be 1, and the second number is going to be 25, and the second to last number is 25. Now the rest, we have no idea. So notice that the sum here of each row will be a power of 2, because if I set x equals 1 here to do this equation, we have 1 plus 1 raised to the nth power, which is 2 to the n. So I'm taking this idea of setting x equals one to find this, the sum of the coefficients and plugging it back into one plus x to the n. And so we get to the nth, where n here is the row number. So if I'm looking for the sum of the terms in row 25, all I have to do is say two raised to the 25th power and I'm done. Now the next question is, which row in Pascal's triangle has a sum of its terms equal to 16,384? Well, we know the sum of the terms of each row is gonna be two raised to the row number. The sum is 16,384, so that's gonna to equal to two raised to the row number. And I can rewrite 16,384 as two raised to the 14th power and because these two are equal and have the same base, I just look at the exponents and see that 14 is equal to the row number. So in other words, row 14 will have the sum of the terms equal to 16,384.